Lieutenant Jaeger, please verify that the gaseous atmosphere in cell H2 includes additional protonaceous vapors to augment the food pellets that are given each week. Jawohl, I'll do that right away, sir. Ah, oh, CJ, I should never have been arrested last year. But Harry, you have to admit that you were partially complicit when you helped those androids take over the Enterprise. Those are just the facts. That's nonsense, Cyrano. And who are you to say that to me? What do you mean? Well, you shouldn't point fingers, CJ. Wasn't it your mishandling of those dangerous animals, the Tribbles, that led to the Enterprise and the K-7 space stations being almost sabotaged by their living mass? Well, yes, there were negative consequences by my accidental introduction of Tribbles to the Federation. But you still have to admit, your helping the androids resulted in... I don't accept that from someone who is an admitted saboteur, whose actions almost led to a serious conflict with the Klingon Empire. You cannot speak of such matters, sir. Oh, well then, hmm. uh, I guess I can't really accuse you. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones, I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of whataboutism. I thought he was persuasive. That may seem so, Mr. Jones, but his argument is invalid. It employs a fallacy of whataboutism, which attempts to discredit an opponent's position by charging them with hypocrisy without directly refuting or disproving their argument. Mr. Mudd, you employed this fallacy when you brought up Mr. Jones's unfortunate actions involving the dangerous Tribble species as a means of deflecting his contention that your support for the android takeover of the Enterprise was the cause of your incarceration last year. Thus, your argument was fallacious since you said nothing to refute his statements. What about ism is also a variant of to cook, which means you also. These fallacies are also fallacies of relevance since they do not address the opposing arguments at all. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as whataboutism. It's only logical. <laughs>